Sa iyong tingin, palang ako ay natunaw na mag- Tilapunit ko na ito siya nabi. Wala man tayo ng meron sila, meron tayo ng wala sila, at kayo lahat yun. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to make you my version of the banana cake or the banana loaf. Um, ano na siya? Ang tawag ko? Ibang level na siya. Nang banana loaf ko ha? My banana loaf. Kasi, I used to have just the regular banana loaf and this one has um, a fruity it's like fruity banana loaf or the fruit cake. Pero banana loaf siya. I get you ba? Ah, was hindi. Um, anyways, so yun na nga. I'm gonna teach you how to make my version of the fruity banana loaf. And then uh, by the end of the video, I'm also going to um, give you some points, acupressure points, wherein if you know how to do acupuncture, you can also use that points um, for a relief for your gastro, right? See you later, alligator! mashed banana we also have here monk fruit and brown sugar you can also use granulated sugar for that and we have um, buttermilk this is just a combination of vinegar a tablespoon of vinegar and fresh milk or any milk or evaporated milk this is um cooking oil half cup and half cup of butter mix ko siya para medyo moist and then i have here himalayan pink salt baking soda and baking powder of course there is the egg and these are dried fruits um para dun sa pang garnish siya at the same time pwede rin natin siya ilagay dun sa mixture niya kasi nga fruity banana loaf siya Okay, let's start! Mix and dry ingredients. So we have flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Tapos, add na rin natin ang ating sugar. Granulated sugar or uh, granulated sugar and brown sugar or for healthier version monk fruit and muscovado or semi semi healthy you can have monk fruit and brown sugar or muscovado and granulated sugar Pag na-mix siya na siya ng ayos, we have to put in yung wet na. Okay, let's put in the oil and the butter. Pwede rin naman siyang butter lang. Pwede rin naman oil lang. So, depende sa yun. And then, our butter milk. Let's put in our eggs one at a time. Then our mashed banana. Then 
then our dried fruits. This is, these are actually fruits of your choice. Dried fruits of your choice. Pag nyo lang siya uubusin para meron tayong pawang papilis. Chia seeds. If you want it to be extra healthy, you can use flax, um, powdered flax seeds. Salad. There, we're going to bake this now for 35 to 40 minutes. <laughs> wow! Tanggap mo kaya ako kahit <laughs> hindi ako pangit? <laughs> Panis yung Biojessic pag ako ang nag-ingat sa'yo. So, here is our finished product. That is my fruity banana loaf. Yan. So, we're back. Um, now I'm gonna teach you um, three points for acupressure. I have my model. I have my model here. Um, gray. <laughs> All right, so first, first I'm gonna teach you the P6 pericardium 6. Ito siya. So, ito siya yung wrist niyo. So, sukatin niyo siya. Three fingers down. So, yung three fingers down niyo, yung pangatlo, dun yung siya press. That is your P6 or the pericardium 6. Um, this helps din sa gastro niyo. And marami siya actually, um... Marami siyang magandang benefits, this one. Dapat sukat nyo ha, kung ano sukat nyo ngayon, kung igagawin nyo siya sa ibang tao, kailangan sukat nila, which means yung three fingers nila, hindi sa inyo. Okay? Next is yung dito sa may belly button. Here. Ito yung chest. CV12 ang tawag dito eh. From chest, tapos yung belly button, in between, Ang gitna niya. Yan. Tupress niya yan siya. Yan. That's the... That's the another point for the gastro. Pindot-pindotin niyo lang siya. Mga 1 to 2 minutes yan. Another one is this one. So, 2 inches. That's 2 fingers. From your belly button. Left and right. Yan. Dito naman siya. Ipindotin niyo siya. So, minsan gaganunin mo na lang siya. Like that. Okay, so there you have it. You have three points, points. Three points for your acupressure for your gastro or in pinatal nila na GERD. Kasi so may problema ka sa stomach, you can use those points. Okay? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Bye! Bye!